Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the N172. In this part of the model, we're going to focus into the remote display, just like this one. So, this part, we're going to focus in the introduction of the offer. Then we're going to see the firmware update, how we can upgrade the firmware or downgrade the firmware. And then we're going to focus into the implementation, okay, how we can program this unit. So. The first thing that we need to know about this remote display is that they are touch and they have color. So they are remote display with color on it, which is different from the embedded display of the M172. As you can see here, there is no keys. So there is no need to program keys to navigate between the, the pages. Okay. The communication that we have with this particular unit, okay, is um, Modbus. So we can communicate via Modbus to the PLC, okay, to share variables. And if we want to program this unit, okay, we can see in the top of, in the bottom of the HMI, there is this port, okay, for micro USB. So the power supply could be 24 volt DC or AC. Okay, and the communication we have already mentioned, and there are some uh, particular reference that we have embedded sensors on it. So let's see the complete offer. Okay, for this unit, let's jump into the presentation. Okay, there are some things here that I have already told you. Building sensors and the software to program this unit is the same as the PLC. So we can have everything in one big project. Okay. So in this white unit, okay, which is the wall mounting unit. Okay. You can see here the size of the screen, the programming. Okay. They can be using the micro USB and only this unit. Okay. Can have built in sensors and we can have the reference for temperature, temperature and relative humidity, temperature, relative, relative humidity and motion presence. Okay, this unit is touch. I have already told you that. The communication that is via Modbus and it could be Modbus master or Modbus slave. Okay, that's good. And then we have two different uh, positions of this. Okay, you can use in vertical or you can use your horizontal. So this is for the white unit as you saw in the record. And then there is another version, which is the flash mounting. Okay, and we have the same characteristics about the color, okay, about the color of the screen, the touch color, the programming is the same. We have the possibility to use Modbus, okay, to communicate with the PLC. And then we have some accessories here that you can see in the bottom because this, the gray one and the white one are used to be flash mounting. Okay, but if you want to use as a wall mounting, we have these two accessories at the bottom. They are this reference, TN1, ABKPW for white and G for gray. So in order to understand a little bit more that how we can identify the reference. Okay, it's very simple. Everything starts with TM172. Then we have D for display, CL for color, and then we have W for wall or F for flash, W for white, and G for gray, okay, which is this one, okay, the gray one. And then we have for the wall mounting three different reference, which are for temperature only, temperature and humidity, THP for temperature, humidity and presence. Okay, so this is everything regarding this unit. Okay, so to sum up, we have this unit, touch, color. We can use Modbus communication to be master or a slave to share information with the PLCs and the programming cable 
that you can use is a micro USB, which is different from the one of the PLC. Okay, so pay attention on that. And if you have any further question, just give us a call or contact us via email.